Paul Pogba. Just a reminder what his agent had to say regarding his future. Uh, Mina Rola said Pogba's problem is Manchester United. It's a club out of touch with reality and without a sporting project. I wouldn't take anyone there. They would even ruin Maradona, Pele and Maldini. Paul needs a club and a squad, one like Juventus was before. Uh, Manchester United just seem to lurch from one crisis to another. This the latest one, Mark, involving Paul Pogba. Uh, what a mess this is. Well, it is a mess, isn't it? And I think it's partly Paul Pogba's making and partly Man United's making, really, because they haven't exactly handled him with a kind of a... A, bit of a, stern, a stern discipline this year. I mean, look, since he's been injured, they've allowed him to go to Miami to, to do his fitness work, to Dubai to do his fitness work. He's basically had a world tour of, of fitness rehab, and United have allowed that to happen. Now, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look great. It looks like he's, it looks like he's doing his own thing while Ali Solskjaer and his team are, are struggling to, to get results in the Premier League. So, you know, there's a disconnect there. Pogba clearly wants to leave. He said, he said pretty much as much during the summer when Real Madrid were, were circling around. And, and Mina Raiola has said, Things this week that suggest that the, the relationship with United isn't broken, but it's, it's obviously not very strong. But would he take Maradona or Pelé to Man United? Well, they wouldn't probably go there right now because United are struggling. They're not, they're not the Man United they were. They're outside the top four. They probably don't have a sporting project that you would say that Liverpool have got or Man City have got. You can't identify where United are going. And right now, if you're Paul Pogba, you're thinking, when am I going to win something you know, substantial? At Man United, you can't see it for a long time. They're not going to win the Premier League this year, next year, or the year after. The Champions League is a distant, distant dream. So, if you're Paul Pogba, I can understand that he wants to get away and play for a bigger, uh, not a bigger club, but a, a club with more chance of being successful. Because Man United right now are not a club that can offer him trophies. But equally, I don't think Paul Pogba is the sort of player who can make United world beaters again. He's the right player at the wrong time. Mark, why is this all coming out now? Because surely they could have played this a lot better and like not talked about the operation and the fitness issues and maybe could have tried to get rid of him in January to keep everybody happy? Well, look, this fitness thing, I mean, I think Solskjaer made a mistake on, on Wednesday after the Arsenal game saying that Pogba's people wanted to have an operation. Now, that sounded like Solskjaer was suggesting that Pogba didn't need an operation, but his people thought he did. But now, Solskjaer's come out today and says, yes, United's people also think he needs an operation too. So, you know, if he needs an operation, get him, get him operated on... He was never going to go in January because nobody has the money to do a Paul Pogba deal in January. It would cost, what, 60, 70, 80 million pounds, and it's not a deal that anybody really is going to do. Real Madrid haven't got the money to do that deal in January. So he's kind of stuck at United. United has stuck with him. Get him fit and then hope when he comes back in February that he can at least contribute something towards the end of the season and maybe get him into the top four, maybe get him to win the Europa League. But it's going to drag on and drag on. It's going to get to the summer and he's going to go and it's going to be, you know, United start again. Uh, Frank LeBeouf, as we mentioned, with us as well. Frank, what do you make of your fellow countrymen and the way this is all going down? Well, that's not a good situation for Paul uh, because of his injury, because of his agents uh, speaking out and not saying good things about uh, a big, big club with a big history. I think uh, it doesn't show a big image of, uh, of the player, of, uh, of his entourage as well. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with Paul. I don't know where the truth is. In fact, if he is exaggerating the, the injury, if he, really needs, uh, if he really needed a surgery, I don't know what's going on really there. And uh, it's not good for the future of Paul. I don't know what's going to happen to him next year. Uh, but you, when you sign for a club, and I always say that, you have to make sure that you, you will do everything to respect the club who signed you. And, and nowadays, it seems to be that when the players don't just want to leave, they just break everything down to make sure that the club doesn't, don't, don't want them anymore. So it's, for me, what's going to happen very soon to Paul Pogba, where Manchester will say, OK, he can go. The fans don't want him, we mm. don't want him, and he can go anywhere else. Seems to be a situation, doesn't it? Like, it, it, it's come to an end almost already. Well, it's been a situation almost from the beginning. It yeah. just didn't quite mesh on the field for Paul. And then, obviously, the injury issues are the injury issues. Now, I have no problem going to seek out to get yourself back on the pitch as quickly as possible. But I think it's then when you're seen at a Miami Heat basketball game or doing different things where, okay, look, we know. When you're injured, you're not ex sometimes getting your head away from things a little bit helps. No. But there's also a perception issue. And the balance isn't right. The balance hasn't been right with, with him on the field. The balance hasn't been right with him off the field. And maybe it is the best for both parties just to kind of wipe their hands with it. But I think, as, as the guys mentioned, it is an expensive deal. 
men, you are going to want significant capital back from the investment they made. And that deal probably won't be made until budgets are organized with, let's be honest, a handful of clubs that are going to come after Paul Pogba. I tell you what, that man Royal is a piece of work, isn't he? He gets, he gets tens of millions to take Paul Pogba to Manchester United. I would have thought his job before he takes Paul Pogba to Man United, that there is a sporting project, is that they, have, they do have a squad. So who's he to turn around now and say, oh, they don't have this, they don't have that. You're the guy, your job is to take your player to the best place for him. So yeah. what did you do? You took him to Man United. So keep your mouth closed. Well, but Stevie, you're only going to make another 10 million if you get him to move again. Oh, Casey. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.